Hi, this is Anil and welcome to the video tutorial for the learning lad on C++ programming. So in the last tutorial, we have learned about the if and else in C++. On this tutorial, we're going to be learning some more information about if and else. So we're going to be learning about if, else if, the nested ifs. In, so in the last tutorial, we wrote a program you know, which was checking the user's age and depending on that uh, age, it was uh, suggesting whether the user can vote in the elections or not. So this tutorial is going to be slightly different and here also we're going to be checking the age but you know not for the elections. So we're going to be checking the user's age and we're going to say whether he is young or he is in the middle age or he is old. So we're just going to consider that if the user's age is uh, less than 20, less than or equal to 20, we're going to say you know, he is young and if that age is between 20 and 40, we're going to say he is in a middle age and if that age is greater than 40, we can say you know uh, he is old. You know just for the demonstration purpose all right first we're gonna create a variable called age so the next thing is we need to check the user's age for that we're gonna use the if then uh, we need to form the expression if age is less than or equal to 20 if the user's age is less than or equal to 20 then we can say that the the user is young that's why it's gonna be c out and I'm gonna say you are young. Then add a semicolon. Now, in the last tutorial, what we have done, we just checked one condition using the if, and uh, then we used else. Here, in this case, we need to check for another condition. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna use else and if. This else if offers us to execute some code depending on some condition so here if this condition is true we're gonna be executing the statements here else if we're gonna be forming another condition and checking for that condition or the expression if it is true then we're gonna execute some other statements and then else we're gonna execute some other statements so here else if the age is less than or equal to let's say 40 then uh, I'm gonna copy this C out and paste it here and I'm gonna say you are in middle age all right next if the user's age is not less than or equal to 20 or not less than or equal to 40 then it's gonna mean that the user's age is greater than 40 and uh, we're gonna say you know you are a world guy all right now i'm gonna save this and uh, here what happens is first the age is checked whether it is less than or equal to 20. if it is so then it just prints you are n and all these steps will be skipped if this expression falls let's say if the age is greater than 20 then the second else if expression will be checked if it is true then the, this statement will be executed and it's just gonna print you are in middle age if both of the expressions are gonna fail or yield false then this else block will be executed so i'm gonna initialize this age variable to a value of 12 now which is less than or equal to 20 that's why it's gonna print you are young build and run so you guys can see here you are young now I'm gonna change this age to 25. Now this first if is gonna yield false because this 25 is not less than or equal to 20. That's why the expression in this else if block will be checked. You know this 25 is less than or equal to 40 which is gonna yield true and that's why this statement will be executed and this else will not be checked. I'm gonna save it, build and run this. You are in middle age. And now if I change this one to 50, you know, both of these expressions are going to yield false. That's why this else block will be executed. Build and run. It says you are a old guy. All right, guys, this is about the else if. And the next thing that I want you guys to teach is about nested ifs. So you guys can use if and else inside another if and else. For example, I can use another if here and I can check for another condition. 
I can use the else here or you know if I want I can use else if also here and also I can nest another if here you know I can nest as many if or else I can or I want inside another if and else so this is it guys this is about the nested if and uh, if else thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe like my facebook page at facebook.com slash learning lad and if you guys have any doubt don't hesitate to put the comment in the video and thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next tutorial